Okay, there's a ton of zombies over here. Let's go this way. Yeah, that damn helicopter's just kind of ruining my day. I gotta watch my heat. I don't want to overheat at all. Oh, and of course, the sprinter's on me. Okay, we'll run out to the open here and take care of him. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of zombies around. Shit. Okay, watch my temperature. The sprinter's still on me. Here she comes. Down you go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I can't hit you through the fence. How are we looking back over here? There's a few zombies around, but not too many. And it's almost 33 degrees out. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's pretty hot. Like upper 90s, I'd imagine. 100, somewhere around there. I got. There's, there's a few on me, but not too many. And I'm getting drowsy because it's, it's a super hot day, I imagine. Yeah, I can't just hop over this fence. Yeah, I'm going to have to just walk around until the helicopter goes away. And maybe find a place to sleep. Might just hang out in this corner here for a bit. I don't think we'll pull in too many zombies if I'm standing over here, hopefully. Oh, I'm slowing down. Okay, we might be all right. And those guys are just kind of hanging out. They'll probably migrate over towards me. Oh yeah, it looks like they're coming towards me. Oh, more are just coming in, man. I might as well face them. I'm not too sure what else to do right now. I can't really go hide anywhere. We just have to hang out in the corner here and just fight these zombies off. Stomp his face, please. Thank you. Okay, not too bad. We are tired. Which isn't good. But at least we're not like, it's not too, it's still really hot out too. But we're not sweating too bad. Unpleasantly hot, we're wet. The helicopter's gone, we're not pulling in too many zombies. That's my machete doing. It's kind of one third condition left. So we'll keep an eye on that. Might as well pull these zombies in and take care of them. Alright. 
we are still alive. We'll just sit on the ground, relax. Hopefully that helicopter doesn't come back. Oh, now it's raining. This would be a good time to plant the garden, but that ain't going to happen. And I highly doubt the helicopter's going to come back now, so... Let's see. It'd be nice to maybe make it into this building here. And sleep for the night. We could set up a tent, but it's kind of raining out. Well, that door's open, so we could probably maybe go into that building. Am I? Very tired. That's not good. There's still a few zombies around too. But I only see a few. So we should be able to take, take care of them. Let's hope there's none in this building. Okay, maybe I can sneak up on the zombie. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's uh, put up our tent. Put it like here, I guess. All right. Well, I'm feeling pretty good now. Survived the helicopter. As usual, I'm not paying attention to what time of the day it is, or <laughs> or when the helicopter's going to come, anyways. But we did all right. Plank. I'm going to need this, and I might start disassembling crates. So I'm going to need some planks, because we're going to... Tomorrow morning we're going to go to the to the ship and try to get on the big ship. And you need some planks to get on it. Failed to... Oh, that's right, I have no carpentry skill. Alright, you know what, let's just go to bed. Just in case I attract zombies into this area. I want to be well rested if I'm making noise. Go, grab the plank. There's a bunch of zombies hanging out there waiting for me. I guess maybe disassembling the crates may have attracted them, or maybe they just wandered and migrated over there, but whatever. Let's get out of here. Alright, we'll sneak our way over to the ship. And is this it? Looks like it. Okay, we'll have to deal with these zombies. Okay. How many is there? There's quite a few. Yeah, I don't want any zombies around here for when I climb up. I have to climb up these stairs to get to that to get to the ship. Okay. There's a bit of a mob after me, but I'm gonna have to take them on. Or at least try to lure them away while taking them on. Well, I have beta blockers, do I not? I thought I did. Well, I guess I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Watch me 
back. Okay, careful. Alright. Oh, still a few more. Okay, let's get my other machete out. Where is that branch machete broken? We'll just toss it on the ground. And let's have some ham. Yeah, this is the UVSR Taiga machete. Doesn't have as much reach. Try to get in a little closer, but definitely does the job. It's effective. Because you get an axe stuck in your back. And hatchet. <laughs> Other gloves, uh, yeah, we'll leave them. Once I got her better, and plus I have another set of leather gloves back at the back at the base. Okay, before we go up there, let's just make sure there's no zombies around. Yeah, there are a few. Let's take care of them. Okay, place is starting to get cleaned up. Oh. Yeah, there's a few guys over there. I might as well. Okay. I think we got them all. Alright, now. You gotta be extremely careful when you go into this area. I've been here before. Can easily die falling off the st off stuff. So don't run. Take your time. Yeah, falling to your death is not a hard thing to do here. It's hard to see where you're going to. All right, we are one step closer to being on the ship. Oh, I have to have carpentry level one. Damn it! I forgot about that. Okay, we'll ditch my planks. You gotta build a pathway onto the ship here. Damn, that sucks. I forgot about that. I should have been paying attention. Right, let's take a look at my skills. What am I at for carpentry? Oh, I'm pretty damn close. Okay. Yeah, because we gotta build a wood floor and you need carpentry level one <laughs> just to build a wood floor. Okay. Well, we will carefully make our way down. I know that may look easy, but the last time I came on the boat, I was walking down and I just fell to my death. Okay, well it shouldn't be too hard to make our way back to where we spent the night, into that area. And into those warehouses, there's some crates, we can just break the crates up. And we can get skills for doing that. This guy wants to die. There you go, I'm not going to forget about you. There we go. Alright, well, we just wasted a whole bunch of time <laughs> doing that, but whatever. There's probably going to be a zombie behind here. Oh. No, these two guys, whatever. See ya. Oh, 
That fence, there's a sprinter on me. Alright, let's get out of here. We are back. We are carpentry level one. <laughs> so let's uh, build our way across this thing. Wooden floor. Yeah, you really only need like two planks to make it happen. But I'm going to build this thing wide so I don't accidentally fall off of it. Oh, hold on a second. Kind of doesn't look like I built it. Maybe I have to sledgehammer the railing out first. No, don't don't destroy my. That's carpentry wooden floor. Okay, last time this is how I got in here. Maybe something's changed. Like it won't let me crawl over. Okay, what's going on here? Destroy. Okay, maybe I gotta destroy this beam? I don't know. This is really weird. What's going on here? Maybe uh, I, I might have to destroy my my floor. Okay, now I can destroy this. Okay, you have to destroy it first, and then you can build your stairway or your walkway. All right, we made it. And we'll get the machete out because there could be some zombies on this boat. In fact, I'm, there's probably going to be zombies on the boat. We made it. We're on the boat. It's pretty quiet. Grab a drink of water from this toilet. Oh, there's no water, really. I guess you can't take water from the toilet. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You can walk. You can drink from it. I can wash all my stu stuff in it. Oh, whatever. There we go. We got. A burger, but it's frozen. That's okay. It'll thaw out. Can opener. I kind of need one of those. I'll take a look downstairs. Am I getting tired? It is getting late. I right, got some beds down here. Got the doctor's office. Take the bandage. Another bandage. Alcohol wipes. Yep. Always take painkillers. Because you go through a lot of them if you get injured. It's a dead corpse. He drank bleach. Which means he's a non-survivor. Check this door because it's open. Betas. Uh, I'll 
I'll take all this stuff. Oh, we got a... All kinds of goodies. Sewing kit, sure. Bottle of disinfectant. Trapping for beginners, I've read that one. Okay. A little bit of food. Let's take a look upstairs. Oh yeah, what do we got? What do we got? Guns. Hell yeah. 556. Five, How much weight do I have? Uh, I can't carry too much right now, but that's okay. Take the 12 gauge carrier. Yeah, we got LMGs. I need a shotgun is what I need. Oh, we got, yeah, 308 box magazine. Uh, I got a big machine gun. Nice. But I kind of, yeah, I really need a shotgun. That's what I need. 308 minigun canister. 556 box magazine. Got a Beretta. M16A1. Pistol suppressor, I'm taking it. Shotgun suppressor. But no shotgun. Where's the shotguns at? What's this? Uh, Arctic Warfare. L118A1. Yeah, no shotguns. What's going on here? Come on. Rifle suppressor. I might as well take it. Take any magazines. Yeah, I've got all kinds of goodies, but not a single shotgun. Kind of disappointed. Let's check out this room here. Well, corn dog, fresh. Wait a minute, don't I have a burger? Let's eat that. Oh, nice. We have a big bed in here. We're sleeping good tonight. Let's just check this balcony. Oh, yeah, we've got a few magazines. We could probably read. Farming magazine. Let's just read this magazine to get rid of our boredom go and then read the farming magazine and there's a hunter magazine volume one let's read that quickly all right it's almost midnight and we are very tired so we'll sleep on this bed the bed quality is good obviously it's a big bed oh yeah here we go I knew there was more ammo down here. There's tons of ammo down here. Well, that is the end of episode 7. If you guys like what I'm doing and you're not too busy creating positive change in the world around you, then leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.